हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग माय नेम इज राहुल पांडे एंड टुडे आई विल टीच यू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर द बेस्ट प्रेजेंट इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ क्लास एट हनी ड्यू बुक ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट्स आई फोल्डेड द लेटर अगेन एंड स्लिप डेट केयरफुल्ली ओके बिकेम इट इट्स इन वलब आई कीप अवेक ऑल नाइट बाय मॉर्निंग न्यू वॉट आई हैड टू डू आई ड्रोव इन टू ब्रेड पोर्ट जस्ट अ माइल्स अवे I asked a boy walking his dog where uh, copper beaches was okay house number 12 turned out to be nothing but a uh, burnt uh, beaches was house number 12 turned out to be nothing but a uh, burnt out shell okay so students when the author <coughs> found this letter he decided that i will go near the conis address to find out about her but when i went there i i asked with the boy about house number 12 but i when i saw that i became shocked why because it was burnt oh my god why after that the roof gaping the window boarded up i knocked at the house next door okay and asked if anyone knew the where abouts of mrs mac pearson so i asked the neighbor of mrs mac pearson that do you know about her okay so yes said the old man in his slippers he knew it her well a lovely old lady he told me a bit muddle head but at her age she was in shield to be was not she 101 years old he told me about her that yes i know her very well uh, she is a very kind lady okay and her is uh, is 101 years okay she had been in the house when it caught fire the old man said to me about her that when she was in at her house once one day it caught fire okay no one really knew how the fire started the old man said to me that what is the reason about firing okay fire at her house how it caught fire i do not know but it could well have been candles but it was my guess that uh, it means her house must be caught fire by candle okay why because she used candles rather than electricity means uh, she used to candle with the comparison of electricity because she always thought electricity was too expensive and the fireman got her out just in time she was in a nursing okay nursing home now he told me and the old man said to me about her that the fireman uh, means saved her okay and uh, right now she was in the nursing home okay in in a burlington house in burlington house on the dorches road on the other side of the town okay so students after that you will get two comprehension question you will do it okay and i found burlington house nursing home easily enough when i went near the uh, burlington house nursing home there were paper chains up in the hallway and a lighted christmas tree stood in the corner with a lopsided angle on top when i reached there okay the nursing home was decorated very well because it was a christmas festival okay i said i was a friend come to visit mrs mac pearson to bring her a christmas present and the writer said to me that when i went there i met a with a nurse okay and i told her that hello i came here to meet uh, mrs pearson i am her friend and i want to give her a christmas present okay after that i could see okay i could see through into the dining room where everyone was wearing a paper uh, hat and singing everyone was ready there to celebrate christmas festival the matron had a hat on to and seemed happy enough to see me okay the old lady oh, the old lady will be happy to see you and to see you and she even offered me a mince pie she walked me along the corridor the nurse was a old man okay and she said to me okay uh, means coni will be very happy after seeing you okay just come with me i will meet you with her okay so she told me okay and she rather confused today so we thought it best if she had a good rest and the nurse told me that today we thought that she uh, should take a rest 
and she has no family you know the nurse told me about her that do you know that she doesn't have family and no one visit so i am sure she will be only to please to see you and the nurse said to me that whenever you will go near her she will be very happy seeing you okay she took me into a conservatory with wicker chairs and potted okay plants all around and left me and the writer said to me the nurse which was the old lady uh, took me okay into a conservatory conservatory with the wickers okay chairs when i went there it was a mini plants okay the room was covered decorated with plants and there was a chair plants all around and left me okay and leaving me uh, leaving me there she went from that place okay when i saw the old lady was sitting in a wheel chair oh her hands folded in her lap she had silver white hair pinned into a wispy bun okay she was gazing out the garden hello i said turned and looked at look up at me vacantly when i went near her i said hello happy christmas conny i wished her happy christmas conny okay i went on i found this i think it is yours and i gave her a present okay as i was speaking her eyes never left my face the writer said to us that whenever i was talking to her she was not watching me i opened the tin box and gave it to her that was the moment her eyes lit up with recognition and her face became suffused with a sudden glow of happiness when i gave her okay when i gave her and when i went when i was talking to her when i opened the tin box okay when i gave it to her at that time i thought that means she was trying to recognize me okay and she became very happy i explained about the desk okay and about how i heard had found it i told her that how i got that desk i got that later okay but i don't think she was listening for a while but the author said to me that i did not understand that means she will be listening to me okay now come to the next page she said nothing but stroked the letter tenderly with her fingertips she did not say to me any words okay suddenly she reached out and took my hand oh her eyes were filled with tears whenever i gave her a tin box okay means seeing that tin box she began to weep yes her eyes filled with tears oh my god you told me you would come home by christmas dear rest means the writer said to me that means she was thinking that i am her husband okay captain jim mac pearson that is why she said to me that oh i was sure that you will return one day and here you are the best christmas present in the world and you you have come today on the occasion of christmas festival that is why you are my best christmas present in the world yes come closer jim dear sit down and she said she said to me okay come here and sit down i sat down beside her and she kissed my cheek okay i read and she said okay i read your letter so often jim and now she began to explain that i used to read your letter daily sent by you daily okay and i wanted to hear your voice in my head i had an ambition that one day you will uh, listen this letter you will read this letter for me okay it always made me feel you were with me and conny said to me that means i was i was thinking that one day you will definitely come and whenever you were not with me i always i always felt that you were with me and now you are okay now you are back can you read it to me yourself and she requested me that please read this letter for me okay because she was thinking that i am her husband okay would you do that for me jim dear she asked jim dear please you will will you read this letter for me i just want to hear your voice again i am very eager i want to hear your voice again i would love that so much okay and then perhaps we will have some 
tea and she was very happy that now you have come and rest of our life we will spend together okay and then perhaps we will have some tea and i have made you a nice christmas cake marzipan okay and today is a christmas festival we will take tea together okay we will enjoy our life okay and i will uh, and i i have made a christmas cake for you marzipan okay and i know how much you love marzipan and at last okay she said that i knew very well that you like marzipan very much so dear students it was a very tragic end really i became so emotion okay oh michael mor porgo was the author of this chapter and it was the end of the third part of this chapter and thus your first chapter the best present in the world christmas present in the world now finished and you have three comprehension check question okay two two questions for it you will do it as well as you will write all the questions of working with text okay in your homework so okay now we will read the next chapter and okay have a nice day